what's up you guys i'm back with another video um and as you can see from the title this video is going to be about dealing with upset customers non-satisfied customers cranky customers horrible customers whatever you want to call it okay because if you own a company it's bound to happen okay so i want you guys to really take heed to what i'm saying and use some of these tactics or strategies i like to call it uh, to help you deal with not so nice customers so for those of you who have no idea who i am my name is amani jelena i'm the owner of allure 96 hair company and also i'm the brand owner of amani jelena.co which is a brand that helps with giving back and teaching young entrepreneurs like myself the ropes you know to being successful so some ways that you can deal with a not so nice customer the very first thing that I want to say is every customer that you have, you should want to satisfy them. So the goal after each conversation, after each email exchange, after each phone exchange, text message exchange, DM exchange, whatever, however you communicate with your prospects, I want you guys to always remember when that customer is done with you or done speaking with you or your interaction is done, you want to always have the mindset to leave your customers satisfied now i have been in this game for three years now it's been three long years and i've dealt with all ranges of attitudes all ranges of happiness and upsetness from different customers customers have a hard time understanding that certain things do happen certain things are out of out of the owner's control it happens okay there sometimes you might mess up on an order if you're processing a hundred orders a week you're bound to mess up on three percent of those orders just because especially if you are like me where you're just a one-woman show or a one-man show and you're trying to do everything it happens breathe if a customer curses you out breathe don't let your pride get in the way and just move on okay but some things that I want to give you guys as far as dealing with these not so nice customers is basically putting and, and this is what's you know this is what's helped me is basically giving your customers the opportunity to express to you what they want and when I say that I basically mean I've dealt with customers who are nagging at me upset at me about God knows what every situation is different but upset at me about something and want me to just give them an answer and sometimes I can't give you an answer if your package if you ask me, for instance so for instance if United, United States Postal Service is taking long to deliver your package that is out of the owner's control because there's no way my company can control the postal or the mail carriers so a lot of the time sometimes customers can put all the blame on the small businesses which i get it you know i understand i get it i've probably been that customer but a lot of the time it's not the business's fault uh so long story short i dealt with a customer like that and she was enraged outraged with and she was, was so angry at me because her package didn't get there when it was intended or the estimated date so long story short i basically put the problem in her hands and asked her at what would you like allure 96 to do and when you do that it basically puts the customer on the spot and it basically makes them think what what do i want this company to do for me what am i bitching about what am i what exactly am i upset about so it basically puts the problem into the customer's hand to help them figure out the solution that would satisfy them that your company could do so the reason i said all of that is because this is going to happen if this hasn't happened already with you where you've dealt with an upset customer it's going to happen but the thing is you want to remain as professional as possible you don't want to be confrontational and you want to figure out a solution to the issue that would one help your customer and two satisfy them 
That's one way you can put the problem into your customer's hand. The second solution I would say is basically hearing them out and coming up with some type of give back, I want to call it. So typically people, people love when they get something out of a mishap. So for instance, if you're eating at a restaurant and you find a piece of hair in your food, you want a new meal. Typically, you would want a new meal and you would want to be compensated somehow. So you need to figure out as a business owner, what can you give to your customer that won't hurt your customer, but it'll also bring them back to you. And that could be giving them maybe a 20% discount, a 30% discount, a 50% discount. If you sell lashes, give them free lashes, send them something extra in the mail, send them a small gift that'll just win them back over. So that's the option two. You can always give up something. So that's, that's option two. And the last option that I'm going to go into depth with is siding with your customers. Now, I know you guys are probably like, wait, what? But siding with your customers will help satisfy them. And siding with your customers when there's an issue or a problem of reason is appropriate. So if your customer is complaining to you about your customer service, if you know your customer service is not that great, or if you know maybe that batch of product wasn't that great, side with them. Let them know like, hey, people do make mistakes. I'm sorry. I'm a one woman show. I'm figuring out everything. I'm learning the ropes to everything. And sometimes when you do come with this approach, it, 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 it makes your company seem more human because humans make mistakes. We are not put on this earth to be perfect. We make mistakes in all areas of our life, including, including entrepreneurship. So if you basically have a one-on-one -on -one with your customer and let them know the things that are going on behind the scene without giving them too much detail, this could help your problem at the end of the day. So <clears throat> these three tips or tips, I want to call it that I have just given you guys, I want you guys to implement them and to study them. This video is not a long video, so it's not 100% into depth, the responses that you should give your customers, but it goes heavily into depth at the way you should carry yourself as a business owner and the things, the do's and the don'ts when it does come to dealing with upset customers. But moral of the story is if you've experienced something like this, it's not the end of the world. If you ha have never experienced something like this, your turn is definitely coming. But just be humble, just remain professional, and always just hear your customers out. But I love each and every one of you with all my heart. Continue to stay safe during this pandemic, and I will speak with you guys soon. Until next time.